Come in. Wow. Oh, wow. Surprise. Yeah, that's that's an understatement. What is? What did you do to your ankle? Oh, 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 oh I tripped over a cable here at the studio. Well, no big up. deal. Welcome to Fantasy Island. Now, as they say, when in Rome. Megan. Megan. Mm -hmm. What is this? Well, for the next hour, we're going to transport ourselves out of Landview and somewhere on an island in the middle of the Pacific. With the breeze blowing, tropical fruit drinks, and you and me. Uh, yeah, um, oh boy. Uh, Megan, listen, no. Uh, no, 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 listen to the waves. Very nice. Megan, please, Megan from Paradise is just going to have to wait a couple, couple minutes. Listen, we have some business we have to discuss. No, you don't understand. There's no business on this island. Just fun and adventure and romance. No, listen, we need to talk about Ruby. Mm. Oh, boy. I don't want to talk about Ruby. I don't know any Ruby. Oh, boy. Uh, Megan. Oh. Mm. Mm. Megan, look, this, this is your last chance to change your mind about playing the character. Otherwise, I'm going to have to take some action that you are going to hate. <laughs> that sombrero is twice the size of <laughs> Well, you'll grow into it, won't you? Not in time for the wedding, but uh, he couldn't wear this to the church anyway. What will Garrick wear to the wedding? <laughs> No, I don't even know what I'm going to wear. Well, you're going to wear the most gorgeous dress in creation. No expense will be spared. Michael, it seems foolish to spend a, a small fortune on a dress I'm only going to wear once. It is not foolish. I want you to be the happiest bride on earth. And you are going to be the happiest boy because we are going to be a real family and very soon. And I predict that we will live happily ever after. Huh? What do you have to say to that? <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What is this? What? Look at his arm. That's a needle mark. What's been going on while we were away? It's been a long time, Tina. Aren't you going to say hello? You remember my grandmother, don't you? I wish our accommodations were more pleasant, Tina, but we can offer you tea. You tricked me into coming here. This isn't the embassy. She catches on real quick. Well, well, how did you get here, and what do you want from me? You'll find out everything you need to know in good time. Here's what to do when you don't find the rainbows in this time. Here's where you go when it looks like the rain. Don't cry Did Melissa tell you anything about this needle mark? Sweetheart, come here. Michael, I'm sorry, but there was a slight uh, crisis while we were in Mexico. I didn't tell you because I didn't want you to worry. What do you mean? What happened? Well, Brenda came over to play with Garrick, and then she decided that he wasn't well, so she insisted on taking him to the hospital. It's hard, Mermy, uh, some complication, no, but... No, calm down. They just took some blood tests, but Melissa said that everything came out normal. So he's all right? Yes, he's fine. The doctors tell me that he's in perfect health. If you ask me, it's Brenda who needs examining. We should never have let her visit with him while we weren't here. I gave her permission to visit him anytime she wants. You know that. Michael, your kindness to Brenda has caused Garrick pain. I'm sure she took him to the hospital because she thought he was sick. Babies get high fevers all of a sudden. They also disappear just as quickly. Garrick has a heart murmur. That's not just the ordinary situation. The doctors have also told us that we don't need to worry about that. In any case, I'm sure Brenda was acting out of caution. 
She was freaking out, Michael. That's exactly what happened. Don't you see? She is still having problems with the loss of her child. Now, I'm sympathetic with that. But she's becoming more and more obsessed with Garrick. All right, all right. Maybe if I talk to her and gently suggest that she get some counseling, everything will She'll work just out. say that I'm the one who needs it, not her. You know, you are blowing this unfriendliness between you way out of proportion, Gabrielle. Look, she doesn't like me. And quite frankly, I don't give a damn. What I do care about is Garrick. Now, I'm going to be Garrick's mother, legally, and I'm perfectly capable of taking care of his needs without any help or interference from Brenda. She has been good for him. You have to admit that. So you're saying dragging him to a hospital for unnecessary tests is good for him? Of course not, if they were unnecessary. They were. Don't you see it is impossible for her to be objective with him? Her obsession is only going to hurt him. I really do believe that we must keep her away from the baby. I will call her and talk to her about the entire situation. No, I... Uh, I don't think it would be a, a good thing for us to do this over the phone. I will do it in person. I can break it to her gently. I have lost Al in the past, and I know how she must feel. All right. That makes sense. Now I want to promise you that I'm going to be the best mother in the world, Garrick. Well, I don't have any doubt about that. However, there is another issue that is going to have to be cleared up before we can be married. When I told you I wanted to put an end to the Ruby storyline, you went absolutely bananas. You went so far as to come on to me and try to seduce me as Ruby to make your point. I didn't have a chance to really think about it, and now that I have, I've changed my mind. Well, could you explain it to me? I think I deserve an explanation. Max, I need a break. Okay, I, I want to spend more time with you and the rest of my family, less time at the studio, every advantage that you pointed out when you wanted to dump Ruby originally. Yeah, and now I'm stuck with the character. So, kill her off. Kill her off? I don't believe this. What, Max? Come on, it's done all the time. Characters come and go. That's the nature of this business. Instead of having Ruby witness Nora getting shot, why don't you just have... Nora, see Ruby get shot and die. I'll even play her last scene. I don't mind. It's too late for that. It would leave a major hole in a long-term story like Megan. Please, baby. Six months. That's all I need. I can't play Ruby anymore, Max. I just can't. If you're not going to do it, then spring is... Spring Scott? That's right. She doesn't even deserve a bit part on this show, let alone the lead role. <sighs> Look, I don't care for the woman personally, but she's a decent actress and she's got a big following. What, you not only want to keep Ruby Bright on the show, you're going to let her play? What kind of blackmail is that? Right, Megan, it's a business decision. It's up to you. If you're not going to accept it, then I want to have Spring take the role. I can't believe you're going to do that to me. You're not leaving me any other choice. Higher spring. That's it. What, you wanted me to make a decision? And I made one. End of discussion. I don't want to think about or talk about Ruby ever again, okay? Something is going on here. Something you, you are not telling me. Now, would, would you please explain to me why all of a sudden you want to bury Ruby? Why are you so afraid of her? I'm not afraid of her, Max. I'm not, okay? I'm just... I want to concentrate on us and how much I love you and miss you. Bring her over here! No. Put her down. She knows she's outnumbered. You! Throw you! Leave me out now! What do you want with me? You have something of mine. The Mindoran diamond, and I'd like it back. I don't know what you're talking about. Please, please. This is a joking matter. Please cooperate with us. No jewel on earth is worth your life. I'm sorry, Elizabeth. I can't help you. Forget it, Grams. If the diamond is somewhere on Tina's person, Arnold will find it, won't you, Arnold? Don't let him touch me, all right? Okay, okay, fine. Here, here. Take it. Just keep him away from me. Smart move, Tina. Three down, one to go. 
jewels. So Russell Price was working for you. You're the one who's looking for the jewels. And I'm the one who planned the prison break to search for the remaining jewels. Oh, my God, and you're the one who killed poor Jacques. And that lady who stole the bracelet from Cord. Yes. And to think I was able to manage both those hits from behind prison bars. Why, there's no end to my talent. I think we've had enough bragging for one day, Jamie. We don't want to tell Tina too much. Don't worry, Grams. Tina won't give away any of our secrets, will you, Tina? Secrets? I don't know any secrets. In fact, I don't know you're here. I never saw you. So have a good life and good luck in finding the rest of the jewels. Going somewhere? Home! Look, you've got the diamond. You don't need me anymore. I'm sorry, Tina. But you're going to have to stay with us a while longer. He's splashing in his applesauce. What did you want to talk to me about? You should have told me about Garrick's visit to the hospital. Michael, there was nothing for us to worry about. It doesn't matter. If we're going to be married, I want it to be a marriage of complete openness and honesty. Uh -huh. uh, say what you want. I know what you're thinking. When is the last time that this guy has been open and honest? He's been keeping secrets most of his life, right? Michael, No, I... it's, it's true. I almost destroyed my marriage to Alicia. I don't know why that she didn't leave me a long time ago. It's very simple. She loved you. Well, I wasn't deserving of her love. I was only honest with her the last few months of her life. And I hurt her very deeply. I don't want that to happen to us. We are going to vow to love and honor and trust one another. And we are going to stick to those vows. I want to, I do, but I... No, no, no. We have to make a commitment to the truth. As you say. It's not going to be so bad. <laughs> you know all my terrible secrets and I know all yours. It'll be smooth sailing from now on. Michael, I love you. Feeling is very mutual. Now, before we can say those vows, we have a lot of plans. No, no, you're far too busy. Besides, it is my responsibility, since I am the bride, to take care of all of those things. You're right. Usually with your parents' help. So I would be very happy to fly your mother over here from London, as well as your sister. Thanks, but... Uh... Even if we did send an invitation, she would probably turn it down. And if she didn't, there'd be so much tension, it would be unbearable. What is it with you two, anyway? It's a very long story, and I don't really have time to get into it now. You see, when I took Garrick into the kitchen, Martin said that Max had left a very urgent message. He wanted to see me right away. Something about Al? Well, I certainly hope not, but I will catch up with you at the hotel, all right? All right. So is his drink. Where's my straw? You want seconds? Uh, had a big breakfast with Al this morning. I can't have any. What? I wasn't talking about the fruit drink here. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Megan, we gotta get back to work. No, we don't have to, not now. I'm sorry that I didn't see you last night. Oh, yeah. So am I, but listen, we can continue this tonight. Oh. No, I want to continue this now. Mm-mm. Megan, listen. That's great. Uh, but playtime is over. I've got a heavy day ahead of me. Well, the rest of the production staff can take care of that, can't they? Not the new story. Sheldon's typing up the scenes, the first scenes, and I have to look them over and make sure they're right. 
Now, I'm gonna go jump in your shower. Well, that sounds like a little good idea. I'll come and join you. We no. Like... No. You stay off that foot, otherwise we may have to shoot you. Max. Oh, yes. Is this new storyline more important than us, huh? No, no, nothing's more important than us, but on a scale of one to ten, I would say it's a ten. Why? What? What's the big deal? I can't explain it now, but as soon as, as, as I can, I will. Um, just remember, I love you. into despair. I won't be defeated again. There's only one thing in the whole world worth fighting for, Titan. Love. Well, and revenge, too. But it would be a hollow victory if I had no one to share my love. Ursula, you said you needed my help. What do you want me to do? Well, first, you must swear to keep my secret. What is it? You promise? OK. I'm going to win back Jamie's love. That's why you were in your room crying and chanting? Because Jamie dumped you? He didn't dump me. He was ready to kill you, Ursula. You better stay away from him. No, no, no. You don't know Jamie the way I do. The poor thing, he was just, just overwhelmed with problems, and he lost his temper. And uh, I know exactly the thing that he needs to put him in the mood for love. And you're the one who can help me, Titan, because I'm planning a very special romantic surprise. The court is waiting for me at home to take me to the airport. If I don't get there, we're going to miss our flight. You'd miss it anyway. You'd head straight for the police station and turn us in. No, no, no I swear I, I would never do that. She's you, Sanders. How are you putting her feet on Well, maybe she'll keep quiet, Jamie. Put out, you freak! You're calling me a freak? Right. I didn't just assume from a mental Hey, Victor! 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 Hey
Ladies, if I may have your attention for just one moment, please. Never in all my years with the Royal Ballet of Mendora have I witnessed as talented a group as this. You've given me great joy. Now, sadly, I must select just three of you to go to Mendora. So if you'll leave me alone for a moment, uh, I'll meet you on stage and make the announcement. Hello. I'm Julia Medina. Mrs. Medina, it's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. I suppose you're wondering about your daughter, hmm? <laughs> One of these tickets will have her name on it. Oh, dear. I thought you'd be delighted. Oh, I am. I'm delighted that you consider her so talented. I love my daughter so much, you know. I've dreamt of this day when she'd actually be chosen to join a professional dance company. Well, why do you have reservations? Well... You see, she's led such a sheltered life. I personally feel that she's much too immature to cope with the demands of being a professional dancer. We take very good care of our company, Mrs. Medina. Oh, yes, I'm sure that you do. It's just that I feel that she needs more time with me, to travel with me, to experience life. And then perhaps, instead of just being a promising dancer, she might be an absolutely dazzling one. Do you, do you think you could consider postponing her selection until this time next year? For the Royal Ballet's sake, but more particularly, for Deborah's sake. No, Brenda, do not come down here. There's a good chance that my idea is going to work, but if you're seen, it's going to ruin it. Now, please, trust me, be patient. Uh, listen, I've got to go. I'll call you later. Max, is Al, is he all right? Yeah, he's fine. Your message was so urgent, I just assumed it was Al. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. Well, if he's fine, why did I have to rush down here? Gabrielle, we have to talk. Talk? Yes. If it's anything like the conversation at Grandview, I'd rather not waste my time. I still don't know why you came to see me. It, it, it's not easy for me to say this. I'm, I'm having some trouble finding the right words. You're having trouble finding words? I've never been in this position before. I I know your first reaction is going to be anger, and I, I just want you to hear me out before you blow up and storm out of here. Then perhaps I'd better leave now. No, no, please, please. For once, let's, let's just try to act like mature adults. I, there's too much at stake here. Then why don't you get to the point? Cancel your engagement. Huh? If you marry Michael, you will be making the biggest mistake of your life. It's fine, Harry, what the hell happened? Find the fuse box and get the lights back on. Amazonia, and might I say you have excellent taste. I'll do my best to make you happy. Oh, I'll be the one. I will make you happy. Your every wish is my desire. I challenge every woman here who claims this man to be her own. Just what we need. A wrestling match to the death. Amazonia, here's your rival. Day of retribution is finally at hand. Your wickedness will be brought back down upon your head. I was devastated when I heard that you had escaped death in the casino. But this, 
This is even better. Face to face with the very woman who killed my dear father. Jamie, get Ursula out of here before she loses total control. The blood will be on your hands, Granny. It'll be on Ursula's. There will be no blood. She pushed my father out the window to his death. Now she must pay. Let the ladies settle with themselves, old woman. Give her what she deserves, Antonio. Let here come. If they turn against us, we're dead. We can't abandon Tina to that woman's rage. Ursula deserves a victory over her enemies. Well, before, you said you were so angry at Ursula, you were through with her, you finished with her. Come on, Absorty, take her down! Come on! 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 Come
It's not over. You read that as the final brush off. You wanted... Gabriel, you wanted us to be a family. You wanted to be a real mother to Al, and I wouldn't let you. So you found a replacement family instead. I had feelings for Michael long before your obnoxious behavior in Boston. And my uh, marrying Michael will not change my feelings for Al. If you marry Michael, you're going to be going on trips with him. You're going to be concerned with all of his needs and his son's needs. And, and our son, son's going to end up on the bottom of your list of priorities. I'll always be here for Al. That is, if you don't get in the way. How many times have I come to see him and you've turned me away? He didn't even tell me that he was ill. I was wrong. And I admit that. Now I know how important a mother's love is to a child. When I was in Boston with Al, I, I finally opened my eyes. Al needs his father and his mother near him. I'm going to be with him as much as possible, even after I marry Michael. Oh, you're going to want to, you're going to try to, and but your life's going to change. Some things, the very important things, are going to get left behind. And I don't want Al left behind. Gabrielle, you... And I have one last chance to do right by our son. It's up to you. If this seems unfair, I'm sorry. Oh, you dropped this bombshell on me, and now you expect me to just drop my wedding like that? You don't have to give me an answer right away. I, I just want you to think about, about what I've said and about, about the consequences for Al, for all of us. Things have been very rotten for you. I've been selfish. I've been inconsiderate. I've, I've been unfeeling. I can't take back all the arguments we've had and all the harsh words. All I can do is promise to change. What about Megan? Where does she fit into all this? To be honest, I haven't discussed this with her. Why not? I came back from Boston and my, my feelings were all mixed up. I was struggling with them and trying to understand them and I read in the paper about your engagement to Michael. I, I wanted to talk to you first. I figure whatever happens, you'll just have to understand. Why didn't you you call me back to Boston? We, we could have discussed all this there. It wasn't until after I left Granby this morning that everything came into focus for me. But I mean, isn't that the story of my whole life? I don't realize what's important until it's almost too late. And you go uh, ruining other people's lives while you try to fix it, don't you? I was too late with Steve. I gotta live the rest of my life knowing I missed the chance to make up with him and tell him how much I loved him. I don't wanna do that with you. With Al. I know how cruel it is to take away a child from his mother. Especially when the mother loves the child as much as you love Al. Hey, Max, uh, Sheldon sent down the scene you've been waiting for. You want to rehearse it now? Uh, yeah, Gary, set it up for me, okay? Right away, Bob. We'll talk about this another time. We can't leave it like this. You've got work to do. So do I, even though I don't think I can concentrate No, 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 right no, 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 this scene won't take long, please. Please don't go. If you want to help me, Dad, then you can just leave me alone. It's not like you have all the answers to all the problems in this world. Your life has been nothing but one mess after another. Is that the kind of life you want? 
My life could be terrific if everyone would just get off my back. Terrific? Wondering when Ruby will be triggered? Wondering if somebody will be there to save you this time? Honey, you must face Ruby. I can't. I can't face what happened. You don't understand how painful that was. Of course I do. I also know that if you don't deal with this right now, you'll be tormented the rest of your life, and I love you too much to watch you suffer. I know you may hate me for interfering, but then you'll just have to hate me. Why me, Dad? Why does this have to happen to me? Honey, I know you're afraid. But denying the fear isn't the answer. You're a fighter, Megan. You've always been a fighter, and you can't let this defeat you. I feel like it already has. One moment I'm filled with confidence, and the next I'm afraid and ashamed that Ruby's going to take over just the way that Nikki took over with Vicky. Sweetheart, you don't have to deal with this alone. I'll support you every way I can. I'll even go with you to the therapist. Dad. That's the first step you have to take. And believe me, it'll be easier than me badgering you every minute. Now listen, I've, I've already spoken to a therapist, and from what I've told him, he seems to think he can help you get rid of Ruby without counseling. He says that Ruby's gonna be around for a long time. Now will you call him? Yes. work will pay off in the future oh darling i know you're terribly disappointed but you have a bright and wonderful future ahead of you some second rate ballet company i want to dance with the best except i'm not the best oh yes you are and so was suzanne she wasn't selected either you have many many more chances i'm certain of it deborah don't despair hmm? Next year, you will be the first I will select for a corps de ballet. You mean you didn't think I was horrible? You're one of the most promising dancers I've ever seen. I know you will be a dazzling addition to the Royal Ballet. Now, no tears. Take some time out of your grueling schedule and forget about the ballet for a while, all right? Thank you for your support. Thank you for your breathtaking performance. Did you hear what he said? He's definitely selected you for next year. Isn't that wonderful? What if I audition terribly next time? Oh, you won't. You'll be even better. I can't believe this. Now we can go to Landview. Now we can be with Gabrielle at her wedding. Do you think it's better if we wait till Gabrielle invites us to Landview? Why? I have two daughters who seem to be on the threshold of wonderful futures. I think that we should share that as a family. Mommy, what do you, what do you think if Gabrielle doesn't want to share her future with you? Oh, Mommy, I love you so much. I just don't want to see you get hurt. Time heals everything, darling, even the tension between a mother and daughter. Gabrielle and I will be just fine together. You'll see. Fortune smiles on those of us who are bold enough to make the best of it. I think that our visit to Landview has great opportunities for both of us. Did your writers come up with this story just for me? No. Well, thank goodness I'm playing the role now instead of Megan. She'd never pull this off. Megan and every other actress on this show can act circles around you, so if you're smart, you'll shut your mouth and you'll try to learn something from them. Max, I'm ready to leave now. I don't... No, please. Five more minutes. It's all. Look, I don't want to sit and watch a soap opera scene. No, no, I have enough problems in my please, own life, please, all right? Please, please, please. I, I just need to get my okay to the scene, that's all. Then, if you won't do it for me, do it for Al. All right. Okay, sit right over here. Uh, Spring, sit right over here. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, Spring, uh, Gabrielle Medina. 
Spring set. Hello. Hi. Um, it's nice to meet you. You know, Max, it is such a pleasure to be playing the role of Ruby. I promise I'm not going to disappoint you. I hope not. Oh, this is such a great dynamite story. I have played bad ladies before, but this one takes the cake. How can any woman be this evil? No, Ruby is not evil. Ruby has fallen in love. Her lover has lost his baby, and she wants to spare him that grief. That's why she switches his dead son for the living baby. What a witch. No. No, she's, she's a good person. She's just confused. She can't bear to have her lover go through the pain of losing the baby right after losing his wife. That still doesn't make it right. I'm not saying it does. And she is going to realize what a terrible thing she's done. Mm. Listen, you got to make your entrance through here. Come in, check the monitors. And then you got to realize that the baby has died. Where are the nurses? The nurses are in another room taking care of an emergency. Oh, this can't be an easy decision for Ruby. No, no, and that's what we want to see. We want to see the, the pain, the anxiety, and then we need to see the decision. And you lean over reach into the bassinet and pick up the dead baby. No, stop! There they are! Stop them! It's a trick! There are no cops! Run, go! Run! 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 Say goodbye to your lady, then say goodbye to the world! Here I am! 